Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted. Um I am predicting um the Ricky Burns v Willie Lamond fight and the card as well, which takes place Friday the first of September in Glasgow. And um yeah, Pat Show, of course, that's the main event. We'll get onto that a bit later. But we've got Gerard McTart, two and O. Oh. He's 19 years old. Last time out, beat Dean Wilkinson over four rounds with Milen Sivotos. Got stopped last time out in July. I was there. Brutal knockout. Uh, Gerald is looking very good in his opening couple of fights. And I do believe, will he get the stoppage? I don't think so. But um, I reckon it'll be a 40 to 36 win to Gerald McTarr. Then we've got Reese Porter, 2 and 0, who's looking pretty good against Alvi Sukhtaf. Um, of course, Alju, one knockout, two uh, last time out again, stopped by Bradley. Being in there with a few British prospects, so this is a good test for um, Reese Porter. Reese Porter should come through it over four rounds, and I do believe he will, 40 to 36. Um, then you've got Taylor Cole v. Artem Lachat, who's 3-0, and Taylor Cole. And Artem Latch, of course, 4-6. and But last coming off a win against a prospect, a British prospect in Jake Goodwin. He did have Jake Goodwin down in the fourth round as well, beat Jake Goodwin by a point. But, yeah, I think he'll fancy his chances against Taylor Coyle. But Taylor's... It's a good step up for Taylor, Um after a good knockout against Paul Scaife, which is, he's looking strong for his age, Taylor. Uh, this would be a war, whether he should stand and trade with this guy, I'm not sure, because this guy's pretty tall. Um, but yeah, will it be this sort of a learning fight for Taylor Coyle? I'm not sure. It's tough for him. Of course, Jake Goodwin was in his night. But Artem's going to try to put it on him. I think this could be a good fight, this. And I'm saying 39-37 to Taylor Coy. I reckon he'll get through it, but he'll have to dig deep and work for it. Don't let him make it a dog fight though. Taylor needs to be smart. Then you've got Tyler Joy, one and over you. Dimitri Prochat always comes for a good fight. Dimitri, um, I've seen him fight before. He, he's got heavy hands at times as well. Be, been in there with British prospects as well. Tyler Jolly, uh, I think he's had a big Olympic background. Uh, he hits hard. This could be another one. Two heavy hitters. Could, one of them could go. Dimitri is, hasn't been stopped, but is this the fight that he gets stopped? Because Tyler can punch. Tyler's a big hitter. Dimitri's a big hitter. Um... It wouldn't surprise me if they just stand there toe to toe for the first bell because they're very good fighters, these two. Um I reckon I reckon Dimitri will put uh Tyler down. I reckon they'll both go down. Uh Tyler puts him down in the uh the second and Dimitri puts him down in the fourth, but I reckon Tyler will scrape a, a points win. But it should be a very good fight. Um, that one, I'm saying 58-50, no, yeah, 58-57 to um, Tyler Jolly. Then you've got Jake LeMond, 4-0, looking pretty good, um, looking slick as well, 19 years old. Um, last time out beat Ruston. Uh, I don't think he's lost a round yet in his pro career, so a bit classy from him. Uh, yeah, but he's got Stefan Vincent. We know Stefan, been on the channel before. Very good fighter, very strong fighter. Of course, he's one and two. Uh, he beat Natty Mali on his debut. Looked pretty good on his debut. And then he lost to Robert Lloyd Tyler Jr. Taylor Jr. Uh, was in his night. Still comes forward, though. Still wanted to fight with him. Didn't go his way, but I think he, he could have possibly nicked around. But against Tough Sisu Lamont, he got robbed. He beat that guy last time out. I lost 39 38, which does tell the story. Stefan, I thought, won three of the rounds, maybe four. He smashed it that night and they had to edit a bit out of it. Um, 
And they only showed three rounds of it because um, I wonder why. But yes, it's strong performance from him. Of course, he's also got this prize fighter coming up. So he don't really want to get stopped. I, he's not going to get stopped. He's rock solid. He's tough as nails he is. Um, but yeah, he's got the prize fighter lined up, which I reckon he... Because that could turn his career back on its head, even if he does lose this one. That could turn his career on its head and go back to being the prospect and get where opportunities go from there. But uh, yeah, Jake LeMond, it's, it's a good fight. And then he's got Albon Jr. he does, so he's got a few scheduled. I don't think he'll want them to get cancelled. I think I think this could be fight of the night as well. There's loads of fights that could steal the night. This is one I'm looking forward to. I reckon it'll be um I reckon it'll be a learning fight for Jake LeMond and I'm I'm saying Vincent um on points. I reckon it'll be a learning fight for him, you know. I reckon Vincent I'm not gonna say the scorecard, but I think Stefan Vincent will do him on points. I've got a feeling. Um then you've got Casey Dodd, uh Cassie Dodd v in a I'm just gonna say Dodd on points. Then we move on to our four main fights. You've got Charlie Dodge, Doge, three and O. Um, of course, he's fighting George Stewart, four and O. And uh Charlie was out pretty recent against uh Liam Box. Beat him over four rounds. And George Stewart, that was in July when he won. George Stewart, he's 21. Um, last time out against Christian Narvarez. But George hasn't... Um, what I'm saying is George, not because his first two fights, fought Lee Glover and Paul Holt, who were two solid fighters. And not many people do that on their first fight, Take. Lee Glover, then Paul Holt, and he did, he did, he did well against both. Then he fought Mini Dread, B and Alvarez. So looking very good against four, two solid journeymen and two fighters who come to win as well. So you couldn't ask for much less. And he looks pretty good against. I think his best performance was probably against Mini Dread or Lee Glover. That was a pretty solid performance from him. Or and then Charlie Doge as well. He's looking, Scott, this is for the super featherweight Scottish title. He's got one knockout. He probably hits harder. He's more aggressive, I would say, more front-footed. I like George can take the front foot as well. He's slick, um, 10 rounds. It's good because um, George, I would say, had the better fighters on his resume. Uh, his chin's been tested a little bit. But with this, it's a title fight, and it's their first. 10 rounds, um, and yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see how their chin holds up, how their stamina holds up in this title fight, and again, it what it will mean to them. And, um, it, it'll be it's interesting. This it really is interesting, and it could potentially go down to the wire, but in my opinion, it's just who, who has it in them more, like who wants it more think it will come down to that do I think there'll be a stoppage I don't know you can't really I don't know are they fit enough for it I think they will I think it'll be a good fight I think it'll go down to the wire I reckon it'll be 96 94 and the new Scottish super featherweight champion um I don't know because I'll probably change my mind come uh on the day but um I'm going to say George Stewart to take it home, to be fair. I reckon George Stewart, 96, 94, and I, I reckon it, I reckon he'll, I reckon he'll do it, to be honest. So I'm good. But again, that could go either way. That I'm really telling you that could go either way, and that could be five the night as well. <laughs> Moving on, we've got the Scottish featherweight title, so super and feather, uh, but who's going to be the new featherweight champ? You've got Jack Turner, 6-0. and uh, Last fight, a six-rounder. No, he's had three six-rounders, which is good. Andy Flam, um, of course, four and one, two knockouts. Of course, 
he beat Eva and Michael Mooney in his first two fights. He got a stoppage. Then he lost in his third fight to Singh Bati. Um, wasn't his night at all, really. Never got going, really. But then he fought Conor Lee, stopped him in the first round. That's a big statement. Um, because Conor was unbeaten as well, so no easy fight. Then he rematched Simbati, beat Simbati every round, comfortable night, and that showed the real him. Um, but yeah, he suffered that defeat before um Andy. He suffered the defeat before that's made him stronger as a fighter, and he's come better as a fighter. But Jack Turner as well, not one to to again, this one could potentially steal the show. Um, could there be a stoppage in here? Uh, I think if it's more like if it goes to points, it would be Turner. But whether Andy Pham can get him out of there, I don't know. It'll be good to see how Jack Turner's chin holds up for the, the first test of his career. Um, but yeah, to, to be honest, I'm going to go with Andy Pham. Whether he'll stop him, I don't know. If he does stop Jack Turner, it'll be seven to eight, I reckon. But, um, yeah, I reckon... Should I tell you what? I'm going to say Andy Tham stoppage round seven or eight. I reckon Andy will win this. And the new Scottish featherweight champion, Andy Tham, by uh, stoppage. I think that's the first stoppage I've, I think I've predicted. But, yes, Andy... Sam to win that one. Now we've got Martin Crossan seven and I v Andrew Smart. Uh, of course, Martin Crossan seven and O. Um, he has he did beat um he's had two ten rounds in his last fights. He 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 not, he's used to this now. His chin's been debut hard fight. Then yeah, he's he's just active and he's had two ten rounds this year. Ahmed Mavena, he was the underdog and practically won every round in my book. Probably eight to sort of thing. I haven't watched it for a while, but I watched it. But it was early in January. But what a performance. I didn't think it would be that dominant for him. But he looked amazing in that fight. Quick hands, got in and out, bopped his head well, weaving well. It was it was really good performance, clinical performance from Martin. Uh, then he fought Dan Booth, which Dan Booth I spoke to. He fought he won. In my opinion, I think it was the right scorecard. Ninety seven, ninety four. Uh, Martin's beaten two solid opponents this year. Um, he's got Andrew Smart, who's six and one. Um, again, Andrew's lost his last fight to Robbie Gra uh, Gra Graham over 10 rounds for the welterweight title. I think this weight suits Smart more, so that could help Smart in a way. But again, he beat Paul Diaz, uh, Osgood, Jamie Quinn. Uh, but yeah, Martin Crossan is exceptional. Um, but again, could that defeat um, make him stronger as a fighter? It may as well could. Um but I'm, I'm, I think Martin's going to be too much for him. And I think he'll be quite uh, wide on points uh, for a Martin Crossan win. I'd say 98-93 to Martin Crossan and still. But yes, uh, moving on to our main event is 12 rounds in the welter uh, weight division. We've got uh, Ricky Burns, 44 and 8 with one draw and 16 wins by knockout. And um, last time out, he was in 2021 against Ottoman Doniglas, who won on unanimous decision back in 2021, 18th of December. So quite a while. Uh, and then before that, he's also fought Lee Selby. He's also fought Anthony Crawler, um, Indigo, um, Nicky Cook, Cook. Uh, it, it, Kevin O'Hara, uh, just uh, he's just been in there with everyone who shucks at him, really. Uh, Ricky Burns, uh, with Willie Lamont though, um, forty-two and five. Of course, we have seen that chin a bit vulnerable, and he has been stopped quite a few times out of his five defeats. Four, 
as well, so it's not good. But he's got 13 knockouts of his. But last time out, 2022, CJ Woods, um, even though um, I think it's just like a legend fight for the Scottish people. I think they just want to see these two legends go at it. I mean, 21 and then Willie Lamont. I mean, realistically, I think they're just doing this for the fans to see who's better um, and, um, like, who's the legend, is like, who's the best Scottish welterweight or something, or something like that. But, yes, um, I if I have to be honest, uh, I've watched these two fight before. Both can hit on their day, whether that power was, you know, going. I can't see Lamont knocking Burns out. He's durable. But again, could he have lost his that knockout power due to the fact he's they've aged, getting out older? Um, ah, it's just a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Two legends coming back. I reckon it it will go all the way. I reckon it'll be all it'll be good to watch for the fans, the Scottish fans getting what they want. I reckon Ricky Burns will win. Um, but yeah, Ricky Burns. Yeah, Ricky Burns' decision, a uh, split decision, I don't know. But, yeah, Ricky Burns. Um, yeah, thank you for watching my predictions. Let a com um, leave a comment and subscribe for more. And um, also, let me know what you think. DM me on Instagram, at SWF Boxing, and let me know what you think on the fight. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching.